content. Again, I appreciate you making time today to join the Alchemy Solutions Summit centered on protecting the modern workspace. My name is Jarrell Hall. I'm the Chief Technology Officer here at Alchemy Technology Group. Uh, really, we are set out to make transformative outcomes for our customers, putting the Solution Summit together today, hoping you take some education points away that you can ship back to your environments and put into motion sooner rather than later. Agenda-wise, so just to recap this for everyone, again, this is also available in the handout section of the control panel. Uh, this morning, we're obviously getting kicked off with the welcome. Um, myself, Jarrell Hall, I'll be joined by Johnny Brister, a practice principal here at Alchemy, and Doug Lynn, one of our architects, shortly. Uh, from there, we're going to pivot over to Okta, really focusing on where hackers tend to start, which is around the identity. From there, we will move into the Beyond Trust conversation, talking about privilege access, moving then into secure ends, the governance piece of identity, proof point from protecting from an email, which is still one of the most targeted threat vectors that we have in the enterprise today. Then follow that with Fortinet, and it will bring it all home with an alchemy perspective on extending those protection strategies using a number of tools that you may already have in your shops today. And all of that will culminate with a technology panel with a number of experts and architects here at the Alchemy side. These are their wrench turners. This is where the rubber meets the road. So to get your questions answered on a technology, a philosophy, process, procedure, approach, even a framework, uh, definitely want to stick around for that technology panel that will be at the close of the session. So again, jam-packed. Don't need the print screen this. The handout section has this available for download. So I encourage you to grab that. I would love for you to stay for the entirety of the session, but I understand that's a huge time commit. So again, choose wisely on the selection of the sessions you attend. So who is Alchemy? For those of you that are new to the conversation, uh, we are a disruptor in the value-added reseller space. Uh, when you look around at what the value-added reseller space has become over the years, you had a lot of partners out there resting on their laurel. Really what we set out to do four years ago was really come in and change the perspective from a sales organization perspective, give you professionals that can run a deal end to end, encourage you, help you negotiate and structure deals properly, be a customer advocate, understand your investments and really maximize those investments in your environment. From a technology perspective, bringing to bear some of the premier technical resources that you have in the industry around the end user computing uh, space, the protection space, cloud and automation. So really melding those two organizations together, we have disrupted the industry. Four years in, number of partners awards, eclipsing over $100 million in sales. So our unique perspective has been received well by the customer community and importantly as well, our partner community. So we continue to advance and expand on that story. And we're just looking forward to how we continue to transform the world as we move forward. Uh, national coverage being provided by our regional leaderships and all of our sales teams. So if you have not had the Alchemy experience, I encourage you, reach out to us via our marketing team. We have a contact form on our website or continue to work with your account rep to learn more about our practices. Speaking of that, the way that we're formatted, a little bit unique. So we really wanted to target some of the gaps in the market and oddly enough, become extremely relevant based on the current times that we find ourselves in. How do we take these silos that traditionally have existed in the enterprise and turn them into solutions? So when you look across the top, you notice identities, devices, apps, content, network, and operations. Most people embarking on a digital transformation strategy uh, tend to focus on one of these areas of improvement, uh, whether that be modernizing the desktop, issuing new devices, provisioning SaaS applications. We, we understand that it's a greater story than that. So the way we formulated our team is around three practice areas, the experience practice, the protect practice, and the transform practice. Today, we'll be focused on the protect practice. At this time, I'd like to bring in uh, Johnny Brister, who heads up that practice, uh, really to give you guys an understanding, his perspective, and how the practice sits today. Yep, thanks, Gerald. And glad to see so many of you have joined in today. I see a lot of familiar names at, uh, in, the, in the chat box there. So um, thank you all for attending. So you know, the alchemy security practice. Um, so I've got a 12 year history in healthcare, you know, I've run uh, IT and security for a large health system here based in Louisiana. So um, that perspective really comes from the customer side, you know, and it's from spending time with you all, or, you know, over the course of my time here at Alchemy. And so the way that I've formed that up is really in three key areas, right? So it's the workspace security, <clears throat> and workspace being, you know, it might be within the four walls of your um, your institution or your company, um, could be at home, right? As many of us are working from home today, or it could be anywhere in between, right? So that workspace can be 
a device, a laptop, a tablet, a phone, uh, or anything in between. <clears throat> and then the second area that we really have to focus on is data protection, right? So data is traversing, you know, many different areas. Um, you have some that's internal, which your data center, and you have, you know, probably some that's in the cloud. Um, so it's really about how do you apply those protections to protect that data, no matter where it's at. Uh, and then last and certainly not least, probably the cornerstone of the alchemy security practice here is identity management. Um, you know, to me, it really kind of starts there and, and many other things fall in line. So if you've got good solid identity management, then you can tie that identity to any of those other areas, whether it's in the workspace, you know, the data protection or even so on. Um, so that's just a quick overview of, you know, where we tend to put our focus. Uh, a couple of things I'll tell you is that you will see, you know, an overall theme and we'll hit each one of these areas and talk about um, different types of solutions that come into play throughout the day. Awesome. Appreciate that, Johnny. So let's get into a real world example. So meet Chase. Chase is both our, our a gift and a curse. Uh, he's our frenemy. So most of the looking at the titles of a lot of the attendees, uh, most of you guys despise the way that Chase works. So Chase is our high productive employee uh, or in the pandemic times, he's our standard employee where he has diverse work locations, making it incredibly difficult to pin down IP address cider ranges, things that can increase and give us a, a better level of control. He has multiple devices. He may have an unmanaged device. He may have a corporate owned device. He may have a wearable. He may have a mobile device. We can't control that any longer to enable Chase to be productive. Credentials. He may be a consumer. He may be external to the environment. He may be a contractor. He may bring his own identity. He may use uh, badge readers. He may use standard username and password or MFA solutions. He also has a mix of on-prem applications and data. He's leveraging multiple cloud providers. He's mul leveraging multiple SaaS and mobile applications. So again, he has increased our threat vector and our attack surface, and he has become crazy unmanageable from a security perspective. So when you look at the way we formulated the Solution Summit, we understand that there's a layered approach to security. We also want to understand what's the greatest bang for our buck, where do we start, and how do we come to bring these rings back into control so that not only can we enable Chase to be productive, but we can have a level of security posture from a risk-based perspective that our organizations are comfortable with. So to show you this in, in kind of real life and how these threats typically happen, and to get really into some of the meat of the, the conversation here, I like to bring in Doug Lynn, who's the uh, Microsoft architect here at Alchemy, uh, to walk you through a real world example of, of how this goes down in a traditional environment. Doug, welcome to the show. Thank you, Jarrell. Yeah, so my name is Doug Lynn. I am one of the Microsoft architects here. And today we thought, what a better way to actually showcase some of the security pro projects than to do a real hack. So what we wanted to do is walk through exactly that. So what we have is a guided hack and we're actually gonna show a video while I talk through it. So what we see here is if we go back to the uh, uh, video, Jarrell, let's go ahead and hit play. I'm gonna send Chase uh, email. So uh, as the hacker, if I portray the hacker, I'm gonna send Chase an email. He's gonna grab that. He is an inbox zero kind of guy. Nothing has arrived yet. And when that shows up, being the you know highly proactive, busy gentleman that he is, he's gonna go read it, acknowledge it, and go, hey, I use Walmart Grocery. I've got a problem. Let's go update it. So we're gonna update it. He goes to the website. Website looks, looks a little funky, but his information is there, so he thinks it must be safe. He hits go. A confirmation comes up, unbeknownst to him, a habit of 100,000 times. He hits open. He hits save and he's gonna visit this. So let's jump in on that one. Let's zoom things in a little bit. And when this comes up, what we're gonna see is, there's a document here, Maven Books, that doesn't look right. I don't know, yellow bar, let's make that go away. Those are annoying. Let's continue to look down through here. This really doesn't look like a Walmart thing. I don't know if I'm really gonna worry about this is kind of what he's thinking through his mind. So ultimately, this is not a problem. Let's ignore it. So, you know, he's going to close it. He's going to go about his busy day. And unbeknownst to him, he's been hacked. He's been attacked. He's been worked through. So what we want to do is we kind of want to slow down a little bit. We want to show 
what this hack looks like. So you're going to see there on the bottom left is kind of my dump area. Being the hacker, I have now exploited his machine. I have some tool sets, and I'm now starting to inject my tool set into his device. I've got Mimi Cats. I've got some PS tools. I've got some PowerShell scripts. I've got a lot of other things that I've been able to do. And what that document did is that actually kicked in with administrative rights a specific script that has started this process. And at this point, it's really done. Um, but what we can see is Mimi Cats has went through, it has pulled all of the password and hashes. And as this hack evolves, what I'm going to do is I'm going to continue to exploit as much of the environment as possible. And the technique in this case that I'm going to use is called pass the hash. So I've got hashes. I can see that I am part of, uh, you know, in recon, I can see I'm part of the F2 domain. I can see a couple of users that have logged onto this box. Um, and as this process goes, my goal as an external you know, actor is to come in and I wanna find as much critical information as possible. So how I'm gonna do that, I know Chase is there, I sent him that email, I can see that, I can see the credentials that he typed into that website, but I wanna move around. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna use my scripts, I'm gonna use Mimi Cats. I am gonna actually escalate with the pass the, pass the hash a logarithm, and I'm gonna grab one of those hashes for EA and pop it in here. And in a few seconds, we'll easily be able to accommodate that. If we look there, we can see that my username is Chase, but because of past the hash, I have actually injected the security token of another account. And by doing a quick discovery on the domain, I can do the same remote credential and now all of a sudden I'm the EA account. And when I actually connect, I am now connected to an actual domain controller. So my hack is successful. I am able to laterally move across the environment with tools, with the hacks that are there. And if I wanna do some recon, I can you know, look for specific names. There may not be an engineering. Let's see what else we can find here. Do we find a manager? Nope. But really kind of what I'm after is some HR work. So, ooh, there's an HR file server. Let's look into that one. Is there any shares on it? Ooh, there's a super secret share. That must be definitely something we wanna go after. If I keep doing recon, what we'll see is I am on the domain controller. I am a domain admin. I can see all of the users that are here. I can see groups. I have full access. If I wanted to create accounts, remove accounts, if I wanted to cause destruction at this point, I have that ability. But really what I'm concerned with is that content. I want that HR data to come out of there. I'm looking for that PII. I'm looking to exploit, to monetize as much stuff as possible. So if I go back to that file server, I can see there's our HR master list and there's our file stuff. So I wanna get that information. I'm gonna take there from the domain controller, which pretty much always has access to everything, go through, grab that information, pull it out, and what we'll see is on the left-hand side in my temporary uh, dump file, assuming I can type, is now I've gone off of a random file server, found HR information, exploited, pivoted through the environment, and now I can remove and exfiltrate that data as much as possible. So at this point, I am successful, my hack is complete, and in under five minutes, I have the content that I am looking for. Awesome, appreciate that, Doug. So again, back to Chase, um, being our, our gift and our curse. So while making the organization profitable and being productive, he also is an attack source. Um, and you know, benign, beknownst to him, clicking on a link can lead to detrimental outcomes. Uh, and hopefully for just a point of content, don't name your, your super secret share super secret. Um, don't name your HR file servers, HR file servers. So <laughs> that, that's a, a, a free nugget of advice there from the Alchemy Technology Group. So again, the center kind of of the solution summit is around how do we prevent those lateral movements? How do we continue to protect the organization at various layers of the infrastructure? Uh, I think we have a question here, Johnny. You wanna fire that off? Yeah, so I was gonna ask Doug a question. Um, so, Doug, in, in, in setting up, um, you know, that demo, which is very realistic, obviously, um, it's what we see day in and day out. Um, what was the total cost of the tool sets that you were able to find, use, and then uh, subsequently hack and exfiltrate the data? Just out of curiosity, what's the price so tag? 
the, the, there was no cost. All of these are free <laughs> tools that we've either found or deployed. They're community driven. Yeah. Um, they're out there on the internet. They are absolutely there. It did take time in order to set it up. It took time to be able to do the recon of that environment to figure it out. Um, but the other thing that I want to say is that is actually a real live realistic hack. That is not a simulated hack, even though we did guide through it. Yeah, I think it's just uh, a point there that, you know, any kid in the garage, so to say, um, find the necessary tools on the Internet and, you know, with enough time, which, you know, some people have, obviously, they're going to get to the crown jewels that you're trying to protect. Um, and in your case, the super secret disk, not so well protected. <laughs> yep, not at all. <laughs> Absolutely. So again, setting the stage for the, the rest of the Solution Summit, you will be exposed to a number of platform solutions, industry experts that help uh, not only prevent, but uh, remediate and protect against these type of evolving threats to prevent Chase from creating that type of exposure for our organization. Um, so let's now talk about a giveaway, right? Let's get right to it. Um, so